All right, well, the time has come. Uh, my new daily driver arrived yesterday. Um, it's a 2022 Maverick. I actually ordered it back in January. This one is pretty much what a lot of people would call poverty spec. Um, it has every utility feature I needed and nothing that I don't. So this is a, obviously, little background. This is a unibody platform. It's shared with the, uh, the Escape and the, the Bronco Sport. So it's a unibody. Um, this one, obviously standard, they're a hybrid front wheel drive. This one is an EcoBoost all wheel drive uh, with 4K tow package. That's the only options I got on the vehicle. Uh, the EcoBoost is 250 horse, 277 torque. So it's a reasonable amount of power. The truck only weighs 3,700 pounds. Um, and it'll actually tow 4,000 with the tow package. It does have uh, two different connectors for uh, trailer wiring as well as a trailer brake controller. Other than that, it's no frills. Obviously, you can see it's 17-inch steel wheels. Uh, it is a transverse engine layout, obviously, because the uh, you know the base car is front-wheel drive. Uh, but this one is the all-wheel drive, so it's four-wheel independent suspension. Um, you know, it's just it's so basic, and I love it. I ordered this thing in uh, in January, on January 5th. Uh, it was scheduled to be built shortly thereafter. The build date moved a few times. Ultimately, it was built uh, on. March 28th, shipped on 4-1, and it arrived at the dealership yesterday, 4-29. So it was about a, about a four-month wait. But the only way to get a, any kind of a deal on anything right now, or, well, when I say a deal, even MSRP, which used to be considered terrible. You never paid sticker, but now to get anything at MSRP is a bargain. So I was able to order this and get it at MSRP, which uh, MSRP with the 4K tow package is 25 540 and believe it or not, uh, there's actually a $750 rebate right now through Ford that I qualified for the dealer. So it was actually under 25 plus tax title. It was like 26.6 out the door. And in this day and age of inflation and used car prices, it's uh, quite a value. Uh, if you've watched the channel, you know I'm all, I'm all for bargains. That's why I love C4 Corvettes and stuff. Uh, the bang for buck factor is big. And on these, to me, the bang for buck factor is huge. Um, I hope I didn't just swear. I think I said bang for buck. Well, either way, we'll edit that out in post. Uh, this thing checks the boxes for me as far as a daily driver and doing all the things I need it to do for an extremely reasonable price. And I'll touch on a few things that I think are pretty special about this spec. Obviously, there's the XL, the XLT, and the Lariat. The first Maverick I ordered was a fully loaded Lariat. It was 38000 and I ended up canceling the order. Uh, it just, it was just, I don't know, it was just a lot of money for what is essentially a gussied up economy vehicle. And I decided really the only spec worth getting this in is the spec that I have here. Obviously the color of your choice, this happens to be Velocity Blue. It's a pretty, kind of a loud color, but I like it. And uh, maybe at some point I'll put some wheels on it and stuff, but uh, probably just Bronco Sport takeoff wheels maybe if I do anything. Um, so, I'll give you the rundown on why I think this is pretty much the perfect daily driver for someone who needs a little bit of everything, who prefers a car but could use the utility of a truck, basically. Um, it's got more than adequate power. This thing does 0 to 60 in the low 6s. It'll run a mid to high 14 quarter mile. Not crazy stats today, but if you're a guy like me who likes 80s cars, uh, it's pretty respectable. It's plenty. It's faster than some of the C4 Corvettes I've had, which is saying whatever that's saying. Um... Definitely doesn't leave you wanting anything, um, but in the spec there are some concessions for this price and people complain about the lack of features, but that's why it's so cheap. So in this spec you actually have no cruise control. Uh, you can retrofit it, people do it with 4Scan, uh, the extension from Ford. It allows you to kind of tap in and unlock features. You buy the switches and you can do that. There's also other retrofit kits, but uh, I might do that at some point, I don't know. It's possible. We'll see. Uh, I don't really care about cruise that much. Also, I'm not even kidding you, in 2022, the mirrors are manual adjust. This is how you adjust them. I haven't adjusted this one yet, so I need to do that today. There's no power mirrors. There's not even a manual mirror adjustment other than physically moving the mirror itself. Um, no adaptive cruise. Uh, no lane keeping assist. The Copilot 360 was available. I opted to not get it. Just keeping the price low. I don't really need lane keeping assist um my last 
four daily drivers were uh, in 2017 I bought a new Focus ST. Uh, I traded that in 2019 for a 2017 Fusion Sport with the twin turbo V6 and all wheel drive. Drove that for a year, traded it in on a 2020 uh, Ranger XLT that we got new. Uh, as an FX4, it was a good truck. Uh, it was just a little bit more truck than I needed though, even a Ranger. They're about as big as an old F-150. Uh, gas mileage was good. Ride was okay, but it just it wasn't any fun to drive. It drove like a truck, body roll, etc. And so I went full the other way and I traded that for a, a pre-owned, certified pre-owned 19 Kia Stinger GT1, which was a blast. I, I can't believe I never made videos in that car, but that was a blast. But I sold that back to the dealership I bought it from. And uh, actually, the original owner is buying that back from the dealer. But anyway, um, ordered this in uh, January. And so, basically, I'm 80 miles in right now. Uh, mixed driving, probably 25% city, 50% highway, 25% uh, you know, 50 mile an hour back roads like the road I live on here. I've averaged 30.8 miles per gallon so far. Uh, the ratings for this are 22 city, 29 highway. But I found with my Ranger, the highway rating was around 24. I would average that routinely. So I don't doubt that I'll average around 29 to 30 with this when all things are settled. Um, the tire, tires are nothing aggressive, just passenger car, Continentals, uh, Pro Contact, 225, I think 65, 17. Um, the interior, you'll have to forgive me, it's got a few things in it, my coat and some stuff. The back seat, I'm pretty, well, I'm not super tall, six foot. 225 pounds. I've got the seat moved way back. I'm just uh, in pimp mode right now, but I did sit in the seat yesterday on the passenger side and I was able to sit comfortably. Um, same with the front. Plenty of room. Great driving position. Um, just your basic cloth seats. Um, kind of the cheap Ford Partsman style stuff. Uh, believe it or not, these have a lot of cushion in the front and the back. We'll see how they wear over time, but as far as initial impressions, they're very comfortable. Uh, more comfortable than the seats, seats in my Stinger, which was kind of a semi-luxury performance sedan. Um, pretty impressed with that. Uh, and the ride quality. The ride quality is surprisingly good. Uh, again, coming from the Stinger, it's a lot better than the, the Ranger. And, uh, you know, the Stinger rode pretty good. It had adjustable suspension and comfort mode. It wasn't bad, but this is even smoother. And, uh, you know, some people are saying things... Like these have kind of a buzzy power delivery because they're a four cylinder, but I, I really don't find that to be uh, the case. I, it's really torquey and really smooth. It's an eight speed automatic. Um, it's it's a nice vehicle and it's it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in these, I would say go ahead and take a look at one and drive one before you believe the things that people say about them. Check one out. If you're looking for an economy minded vehicle, this is the price of a low end Kia or Hyundai. You know, and you, you're getting a lot of features. Again, you can tow 4,000 pounds with the tow package. You can haul 1,540 pounds on the bed. It's a four and a half foot bed. It's not huge, um, but enough for some utility. So if you're interested in these, I, I highly suggest you take a look. They're definitely worth driving. Uh, I may make some more videos towing, etc. with this thing as time goes on. But all right, that's it for today. just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of this thing and my initial impressions after my first 80 miles. Um, I'll provide some more updates as I uh, put more on it. Alright, have fun.